<laughs> oh. Now, what I tell you about sneaking up on me like that? I'm counting money. You really don't care, now? I ain't, what you talking about? Every no count nigga on this place is snickering and laughing at you. They saying Janelle would tease you into horsing into bed with her. Helping her and Luther to trick Mr. Holland so the two of them be able to skip off. Was you horsing into bed with her, is that so? I'm a man, Bill, with needs. Had the overseer not broken up the party, I never know. You think she's pretty? She look all right. But me personally, I like a certain kind of face. What kind? Oh, uh, kind of face I prefer. It's a face like yours, Bill. That Mandinka face. Mandinka? Mandinka face. What food stuff's that you talking about that's African? I know that. Well, I'm Mandinka, and we're proud people. And you ought to take that as a compliment. And I'm American. I was born here. My mammy and my daddy was born here. And my daddy's daddy. And I know African. Bad time all around. Janelle were running off like that. No more sense than a mealy world. Luther, too, old fool. Make Massa mighty angry. Got no driver. It's just a bad day. On top of all that, you call me an African. Guess what, Belle? Don't even worry your pretty little head about it. Because it'll never happen again. Toby! Toby! Listen, woman. I'll tell you for the last time. My name is Money Black. Toby would make a good driver for me now that Luther's run off, eh? Please, Master. Oh, we're living in strange times, Bill. We're at war, we're fighting the British. I heard about that. Nearly two years. Longer than anyone expected. Now the British are offering freedom to any slave who'll join their army and fight for them. Toby driving for me would be gone from the plantation overnight. For days at a time, sometimes. It would be a great temptation for a certain kind of a slave. One with runaway blood. You see the connection? Yes, sir. Right. It just seems funny, though. What seems funny? You trust Luther and he run off on you. You don't trust Toby none and he probably loves you better than anybody else on this whole place. It just seems funny. Bill, how sure are you? Oh, I wouldn't be talking myself. if I was as sure. Suspect is good enough. You expect? Is that all? <laughs> but, but Phyllis, why do you think Belle did this for me, man? Why do you think she did this? I don't know. Ask Belle. Maybe she liked me, that's all. No, I don't want her liking me. I don't want nobody liking me. Not like that. I mean, I'm the type of cat that stick and move and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Always have been. I got no time for catching feelings, guys. When you light it up and get your wish, you keep talking like that. I feel like I can't go walking and talking with these people, man. This is the land of the two bar. I'm in Dinka Warrior. We're proud people. You feel me? From the village, on the south side, we get money. I come from a generation of money. No, 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 no. I hear tell that you ain't a horse at all. I hear tell that you think you're a mighty crow. 
when he tells that you fly from hereabouts all the way to Annapolis and back again. A horse, you look mighty like a horse to me. And you show smell mighty like a horse. So I'm saying to you that you is a horse. What you think you is. Damn. I hear what you're saying, Fitz. You know what, Fitz, but y'all got a slave mentality, man. You know what a cat told me the other day? He was happy. You believe? In this institution, he, he said he was happy? I remember a year ago, I heard cats talk about they was unbothered. Unbothered. You believe? Can you believe that? Unbothered? We don't speak the same language, Fitz. When I see the plight of the American slave, I'm not happy. When I see the plight of the American slave, I'm not unbothered. In fact, I'm terribly bothered. That's my truth, Philip. The man think it tough, don't matter a damn bit neither. You give it up, let it go. You and the nigga told him. Plain old nigga is all. Drunk niggas, poor niggas, Uncle Tom niggas, poor white trash niggas. I'm Mandinka. We're proud people. Free people. Warriors. Master Reynolds is waiting. Let's go. Master Reynolds what? When he tell y'all to jump, y'all say how how. I'm not built like that. You feel me? <sighs> What? You told Bill you could drive, didn't you? I can drive. I'm just looking where to put the key. Some of these these cars are different. Some of these cars are different. Told you I'll find it eventually. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on, man. Get out of here. I'll go fetch Master Reynolds. Fine way up there like that. Well, Bill, let me ask you. Why you do this for me? I see you crippling by the vegetable garden with fiddle. I know you don't like that. You with your runaway blood. Driving for Massa, you'll be all over the country, far and wide. Maybe you get your fill of wondering and won't think about escaping all the time. You're a good woman, Bill. I told Master I'd be responsible for you. You wouldn't <laughs> run off. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't got to worry about that today. Because I done put on my brand new all-white Air Force Ones. And I ain't running through no woods scratching these up for nobody. Not you. Not Fiddler. Not Dr. Reynolds. Not Freedom. Not nobody. That's a fact, chap. Cost me three racks to get these joints. Took me three hours to make it. Don't tell Dr. Reynolds. I told him it took me three months to save up for the Oh, that reminds me. Hold this for me until I get back. Put it down in your bosom now. 
I don't want to fall out when you bend over to pick that cotton up. I'm just blood, but I ain't. Put it down in there. You ain't never give up, has you? Not for me, not for nobody. Come on, Belle, you ain't gonna start that again, are you? You know who I was from the very beginning. I'm a hustler. I come from a long line of hustlers. My daddy, his daddy, and his daddy's daddy. We all hustlers. Man, think of warriors. We know how to get that money. I hustled on every plantation I was on. Been with plenty of winches and hood rats. You are not them, Bill. I love you, woman. I love you like I ain't never loved nobody before in my life. Don't ever ask me to get this up. Not unless you really want to hear my answer. The only answer I can give you. Now hold that money for me. I got something nice for you when I get back. Is it a surprise? Oh, 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 that's what I got to do to get you to smile, huh? That's what I got to do? That's one hell of a smile, woman. I told Master I'd be responsible for you. I told you you ain't had nothing to worry about today. You promise? Africans. <laughs> They're all so happy. They can't believe it. They keep saying over and over, the British has surrendered. The war is over. The war is over. Freedom is won. <laughs> Ain't that just fine, though? White folks be free. I've been worrying and tossing it tonight about them getting their freedom. <laughs> been the most thing on my mind. So even one happy nigga now. Don't have to worry about the poor white folks no more. <laughs> you funny, fiddler. And I know it, but you best not let them catch you doing it. Nah. Missy Ann. Uncle William said I can have more cookies. You sure can, honey. Your mommy better let you have anything you want. How's the lad? Oh, she's more like you every day. <laughs> she has your eyes, you know. No, no. You have my eyes. Little angel. Doctor loves her just like she was his own. Well, maybe she is. We I heard it. That's just gossip. That ain't the doctor's child. That's John Reynolds' child. Ain't no proving that kind of foolish talk one way or the other. It's just nigga gossip. Mm -hmm. You know what? On that note, let me get out of here, y'all. <sighs> I gotta drive early tomorrow morning. Calvin Plantation. Dr. Reynolds has to make all his rounds early in the morning. I like driving. Fill up. Everybody's got to get up early, Fiddler. He was thanking you, Belle. He was just saying why he had to get to bed early, so. Good night, Fiddler.
It's Luther. I've been looking all over for you. You can do it out this time of night. I felt the need, Captain. I was in that back house. Not with Janelva. Don't you lie to me now. You know, she don't care beans about me. I'm too old, she says. Well, Toby's the one that's got her scratching and howling. Toby? Jim foot and all, Toby. Guess you don't limp in bed, do you? You're one lucky nigger, Toby. One lucky nigger. Yo, cuz, before you so graciously get out of my crib, can I buy a magnum off you? How much? 